there's this really pivotal scene in the Thanksgiving episode of the show Masters of None. Angela Bassett plays a mom. She's a mother to Denise. She turns to her and she says, honey, we're minorities and we have to work twice as hard to get half as far. For me, imposter syndrome, there was never one big moment. It was all kind of like smaller moments. One of the first ones I felt was, I went to a very diverse high school. There was like Latinos, black people, Asian people, Indian people. And I ended up going to college in Providence, Rhode Island. I went to this liberal arts college. I was there on a scholarship. And I remember my first day of campus, it was a sea of white people. And I was so surprised and I just thought the world was like my high school. I, I just, I never felt such a lack of diversity. It was really so shocking to me and I felt insecure. I think I worked hard because I wanted to convince myself that I belong there. To me, imposter syndrome is a person who never takes in their successes and always feels like they're waiting on the next shoe to drop or waiting on somebody to find them out. When I started, my company, Maybe, which is a stationary company for women of color, I remember hitting these really big milestones. And one of them was, I was featured in Essence Magazine six months into starting my business, and I could never take that in. I could never say, you know what? This happened because I was bold enough to reach out to the magazine. This happened because I started this company from scratch. It was never about what I did. It was about, well, maybe it was just the universe, but it wasn't about my hard work, dedication to making that happen. My first paid internship was a nonprofit in DC. And it was for an internship program for my college and other colleges in California, and also had a couple Ivy League schools involved with it. I was one of maybe five students that had a paid internship, and there were about 200 students in the program. I kept telling myself that I didn't deserve to have a paid internship. The Ivy kids didn't have a paid internship. It didn't make sense to me. Despite having worked before and being a politics major and being in D.C. where politics is such a big thing, I just told myself that it was luck kids who I felt were more qualified or deserved it more than I did didn't have the same experience that I had. Once I started becoming a manager and leading teams and being, you know, the head of departments and things like that, more often than not, not only am I the only woman, but I'm the only person of color. When you're a black woman, you don't get to be mediocre. You don't get to walk into a place and say, you know what? Hmm. I'm just gonna be all right today. I think black women are taught that we are not deserving as much as I hate to say that. And I think that it's stuck with me, unfortunately. I work hard and consciously I feel that I'm deserving of things, but subconsciously I, I don't feel that way. I, I attribute everything to luck as opposed to just attributing it to me. I think imposter syndrome is something that as women of color, we're always gonna come across. And it's really, how do you handle it? Feeling alone, you know, feeling like a fraud, feeling like, wait, how did I get here? Do I deserve to be here? And there's pressure as a black woman to always be strong, to always be fearless, to always have this hardened exterior because if we show any part of ourselves that is actually human, then that makes us weak or that makes us less valuable. You have to keep telling myself that everyone does not necessarily know more than me or deserve to be here any more than I do. These are things that I have to remind myself every single day because if I don't, I'll fall back into this place where it's like, okay, wait, what happens when somebody doesn't think I'm good enough? Or am I actually good enough? And there's that old saying, fake it till you make it. And I just kind of try to do that, you know, um, until I realize I'm not faking it anymore. I'm just like, I'm just slaying it. <laughs>